Dobra Vece, Divine Pisces, 2.22. It is Tuesday, September 8th, 2020. I'm going to do our union uh, update for today. I will tell you guys, um, I feel like the masculine energy at this moment, very, very frustrated. A lot of um, confusion energy, a lot of anger. Um, a lot of just like raw does that make sense? Like raw energy coming through? Um, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, that being said, I mean, I feel like just in general here, <laughs> a lot of us are just feeling really kind of dumb. Not like stupid, like just dumb. Like we just, just feel like, I feel like some of us are like having a hard time understanding things. D does that make sense? Like, Confusion energy, okay? Um, so, like, maybe thinking abstractly, like, have you ever had somebody talk to you? Like, just talk to you, and they're talking to you, and they're speaking words. They're speaking the language that you speak, but it's like you're not comprehending what they're saying. For some reason, like, it's in a foreign language. Have you ever had that experience? I feel like that's happening a lot with a lot of people right now. It's like... Things are literally getting lost in translation. I feel like things that are done out of good intentions. Maybe maybe you did something to help someone or because you were trying to be considerate and for some reason that got lost and you're being gaslighted now or, you know, that person is like, why did you do that? I didn't ask you to do that. Blah, 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 blah. You know, instead of saying, hey, thank you for doing what you did. That was very thoughtful. You didn't need to do that, but I appreciate the thought. You know, things like that. I feel like it's just, people are like maybe on the defense. There's a lot of defensiveness going on. Um, I don't know. It's just weird, weird defensive energy, really. And I feel like, you know, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is actually the 9-9 portal. And I know I said something's ha gonna happen. Something's coming in October for sure. But I, I know I remember saying it's going to start in September. So it may start tomorrow. I know Kayla's been talking about the 9-9 portal. Something's happening around that. So uh, it's definitely possible that um, whatever it is that's going to happen may actually start happening. You know, kind of like the ball starts rolling or whatever tomorrow. Clear. You're in the 9-9 portal. Um, so just be aware of that, guys. It, basically, it's cycles ending, right? 9 represents... Um, you know, the completion, we're getting to the end of the cycle. We're, we're um, towards the completion of the cycle, so to speak, right? And 10, it's like it starts all over again, right? Um, where you end and you begin, right? So that's the 10-10 portal, which will be in October, which makes a lot of sense. So, so I feel like maybe uh, in anticipation of what's happening, maybe like on a conscious level, we don't even know that that's what's happening, but it's like cycles are being wrapped up right now. Cy cycles are, are being majorly wrapped up right now. And so, um, clear, this frustration energy that's kind of coming in, this confusion energy is coming in, it's just kind of like, um, okay, so what do I do when I'm done with this cycle? Kind of, <laughs> kind of an energy. Does that make sense? Um, and I said it this morning on my... <laughs> morning message you know I love going back and watching movies that I haven't seen since my awakening and if you haven't seen the movie 50 first dates or if you haven't seen it since your awakening I recommend going back and watching that movie because it's actually a beautiful interpretation of karma like of uh, and actually kind of in a way of like meeting a counterpart or a soulmate or somebody a high level connection that is there to teach you right because I mean well let's talk about the movie itself and if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to ruin it for you but Basically, the premise is, is there's this this girl, Drew Barrymore and um, Adam Sandler. And Drew Barrymore, Barrymore's character was in a car accident, and she can't create any new memories. So she remembers who she is and everything up to the day of her accident. She can't create any new memories. She has no short-term uh, memory. <laughs> Clear. So every single day, she doesn't remember who Adam Sandler's character is. And he falls in love with her, but every single day, he has to make her fall in love with him over again. Over and over and over again, right? Um... And it's actually beautiful because at the beginning of the movie, I mean, he's basically, they live in Hawaii, right? He's basically somebody, this guy who takes advantage of tourists, women, uh, who come in for a short period of time, shows them a good time, and then 
it says bye, poof, and then leaves, right? Because he's afraid of commitment. Um, and he basically lies about who he is and, and stuff like that. So basically, in order to get this woman to fall in love with him every single day, he has to stay honest. And he's literally committing to this woman, making her fall in love with him every single day. And it's actually, <laughs> it's a perfect illustration of like, like I said, like <laughs> of a karmic cycle ending. Of you being trapped in this cycle over and over and over again. And then either meeting someone or having an epiphany or a tower moment or whatever it is that makes you realize that's not who you really are. You had some unresolved issues, right? Clear. So if you haven't, if you haven't seen that movie, or if you haven't seen it since your awakening, go back and watch it, guys. Um, they have great on-screen chemistry. I wish they had done more movies together. I know they've they've done three. I think the last one they did was Blended, which is actually pretty funny. But anyway, I'm going off topic. So anyway, so that's where I feel like is happening right now. It's like a lot of us are really. It's the culmination of karmic cycles that are ending right now, and. I think in in the grand scheme of things, like if you if you think about where we are as a collective and where we are as a society, it's like we have cleared so much within the last five, 10, 15 years. And it's like it's speeding up. It's like things are just speeding up. It's like we are on this runaway train, getting closer and closer and closer to this brick wall. And we have to bust through that brick wall to see what's on the other side. And some of us ain't gonna make it, okay? So if you look at that, look at it that way, it makes perfect sense for the stuff that we're clearing right now. It's why things keep getting heavier and heavier and heavier and more difficult, right? It's because we've cleared so much already, it's like we're at the final layer, right? And I know I've said this before, how we heal in stages. You know, you can't heal everything all at once. You just can't. There's no way. So I feel like the way that the masculine energy particularly is dealing with this is frustration. Okay, so you might be feeling sexual energy. You could be feeling aggression. You could be feeling, you know, um, you know, just overall raw coming from, you know, either a male in your life, masculine energy. Maybe that's your masculine energy coming out or even, um, you know, your divine masculine if you're, you know, talking about a twin flame situation. Okay, um, so and I think, you know, that's significant because we just have this Pisces moon too, you know, and Pisces brings out a lot of illusion and also brings out emotion. It brings out all sorts of things that, you know, is very difficult for the masculine energy to deal with. The feminine energy, I just feel like you're just in confusion. You're literally in confusion. You're just kind of like, what do I do? Who am I? What are you saying? You know, stuff like that. Um, and I, I feel like a lot of divine feminines or feminine energies just in general is very just floaty. Do you, do you just feel like space cadet, space cadet, right? Um, so just try to keep yourself grounded, guys. I, <laughs> I know it's a very difficult energy to kind of get through, especially trying to do work, you know. Um, I, I took some time off later on this week to catch up on stuff. I know I'm a little behind right now. It's just like... These last couple of weeks have been a, sh uh, a, a shit show. Um, I, I did get a new job. I finally gave in my no my gave my notice to my old job. <laughs> what I I call my uh, second karmic situation because it is it's pretty abusive also. Um, so I've g I've given that notice and I will be moving. So I will have to take some time off towards the end of the month so that I can pack and and get moved and and get settled and get into this new job. Um. So just letting you guys know that that is coming up. Um, all right, so visions of life beyond death. See, that's interesting because it's like, this is the feminine energy. This is why I, why I feel like a lot of divine feminines or feminine energy just in general is just kind of like, I can't stay attached. I can't, like, I feel like a lot of you just don't even feel, like, solidified in the 3d does that make sense like i feel like a lot of us are just kind of like in this dream space world just kind of like nah, 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 nah. you know maybe some of us forgot to pay some bills you know stuff like that and, and i feel like it's because there's just a lot that's coming in right now um you know maybe you guys are getting downloads maybe you guys are getting you know some answers that you've been seeking maybe you know it's a lot of stuff just coming in i feel like maybe divine feminine you might be having some really intense dreams maybe or astral travel or 
something to that effect and maybe you don't even feel like you slept when you wake up even though you slept like a rock right and that's because you're doing a lot of work in the astral when you sleep even if you don't remember it you're doing a lot of work you know I have people tell me all the time that I visit them in their dreams and I give them advice and sometimes I remember that and sometimes I don't um, so it just depends but it doesn't mean that you weren't working Okay, so keep that in mind, Divine Feminine, and try to keep yourself grounded, clear yourself out if you need to, rest, okay, be kind to yourself. Um, I think that's the, I think that's the hardest thing for a lot of Divine Feminines to do, okay? Yeah, and I feel a lot of it also is emotion, like some of you are dealing with a lot of emotions, there's Pisces energy coming in here too, so Pisces Moon maybe, this Pisces Moon's kind of helped with your third eye. Maybe heightened that that intuition, heightened your psychic abilities. Some of you are just wide open, and you're getting a lot that's coming in. Some of you, it's inducing some some um, emotional purging, needing to get some stuff out here, especially if towards the end of the cycles, right? If we're ending cycles, we need to purge what's in there. Uh, some of, some of you, maybe that's why you're feeling floaty too, is because you're trying not to feel. So don't do that to yourself. Don't detach from your emotions. Feel them. Feel them. Okay. Don't put them off till later. Feel them. Okay. Uh, feel them and deal with them, okay? It's incredibly important that you do that. Masculine energy, some of them some of them are seeing some things too, guys. Some of them are, are seeing where, they, where they're from. Some of them might actually be doing some research on, I feel, star seeds, okay? Some of them are realizing their true origin. Some of them are coming to terms with their inner child. Some of them, and that's where the frustration's coming in, okay? Some of them are purging right now. Some of, That's why the anger is coming in, because they don't want to feel... Um, so it comes out as anger. Okay. So some of them, I feel they they might be lashing out too. So like, again, so they're also, you know, with this, this Pisces moon, you know, their third eye is highly, highly sensitive right now. So they might be seeing some stuff and they're not able to, to really explain it. And some of it, they, it, it might be frustrating to them. Okay. Some of them feeling so defeated right now that they don't know what to do. And that's why they're lashing out. That's why they're frustrated. That's why they're scared. Um, you know, some of them are like, my life didn't pan out the way I wanted it. My life didn't, my life isn't where, where I want it to be. Or, you know, things like that coming up, like the sense of defeat, even though there's really no reason for that, you know, because you make your own path. Sorry, my eye is like doing weird things. Anyway, that's another thing. I don't know if you guys have been having issues with like things just kind of going in and out of focus. Like this, that has been really bizarre for me. I, I've never had that problem. And I'm sitting here going, Okay, not cool. A anyway, so I feel like a lot of divine feminines are just, I'm sorry, masculines are feeling defeated by everything. Like, I feel like some of them are looking at their lives and they're just like, I hate this. I hate this, right? And that's not, that's not cool. So divine masculine definitely lashing out right now, okay? And the connecting energies here, your worthiness, this came out again. This is this came out last this came out last time I did a video for, for union, guys. Worthiness came up again. <laughs> okay, so that should solidify for yes, you are worthy. Yes, absolutely. You are worthy of this. You are worthy of this. Okay, that's why you were chosen. Okay. Um, so don't sit there in self-pity. Uh, you know, just some of you are some of you are walking away from the connections. Some of you it's because your counterpart's not doing what they need to do. Some of you just don't feel worthy enough. Some of you are like, you know what? I need to get my stuff straight first. Do what you got to do. But again, you know, emotion coming up really, really strong here in the counter or in the uh, connecting energy. So emotion is definitely the theme of the day here. Purging, okay? Trying to get a handle on that. Some of you, some of you, I feel you're feeling very swept away by your emotions about the connection itself and you feel incredibly off balance okay there's just a lot coming at you right now there's just a lot coming at you so it's okay deep breaths be kind to yourself okay so feminine to masculine <laughs> this came up last time too guys this came up last time too so divine feminine divine feminine some of you are purging some stuff about the connection some of you are, are dealing with that masculine energy sexual frustration bingo Yep. All right, so messages. Yeah, so you and your loved ones are safe. See, that's the thing is I think a lot of us, I think a lot of us are really afraid about what's happening in the world right now. Some of us are afraid for our children's future. Some of us are afraid for our future. Some are afraid of the future of the planet. You know, things like that. I feel like a lot of worry coming in right now. Guys, 
don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, because when you worry, you put that energy out there, right? Uh, and you can manifest things by worrying, okay? So just keep yourself nice and balanced, okay? Do some meditation. Remember, you're, you're manifesting all the time. Okay, so be careful with your thoughts. All right, guys. All right, I hope this has helped. If it has, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.